You know more than 674,000 people are relocating into the state of Florida, and this is all from other parts of the country. So you have the Northeast, the Midwest, the whole West Coast, all relocating to Florida. But why are locals leaving faster than a sneeze through a screen door? That fast. Oh. In this video, you're gonna know about the rising home costs, the rising insurance rates, the record-breaking weather, all of that and more, so please stick along. But first, if you have any questions as far as relocating to the state of Florida, please feel free to reach out to me and my team. We would love to help you days, nights, weekends. Anytime you're thinking of relocating, please feel free to reach out and we'll get you in the right location. So I'll leave my information on the screen as well as I'll link it in the description below. But again, days, nights, weekends, carrier pigeons, email, text, anything, direct messages, please feel free to reach out and we will get you guys located in the right location in Florida. So in this video, you'll know whether this is gonna be the right move for you or not, but let's just dive right into it. One of the main reasons locals are leaving is the rising home costs. So not only is that everywhere, but being located in a small town in between Orlando and Miami, you definitely feel the effects more than you would in some of the bigger cities. So um, a lot of the locals are used to getting properties for cheap and um, of course in a great location. So I've mentioned Bureau Isles before in a couple of different videos, but just for reference, this is a community that you're located smack dab in the middle of Vero Beach, right in between the two bridges, a street light away from Miracle Mile, five minutes away from downtown in a great location. You walk out, you can see in your backyard that you have a dock, your boat's out there. You could get into the intercoastal, go to Sandbar Sundays, get to the Sebastian Inlet, all from your backyard. A home like that used to cost around, I believe the cheapest one in 2018 that I pulled sold for 300,000. That one didn't have a dock, but the one that did sold for around 600,000. So for 600,000, you could be in the prime of it. And now you won't find anything um, under 1.7 million. Um, you know, that's just, that's just one scenario to consider, but you have, for instance, downtown where it's around 150 to 200,000, and now you're not finding anywhere near that price. Um, maybe a, 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 a deep investment home, but you're looking more around 350,000 and that's five minutes away from downtown and maybe, um, you know, 10 minutes to the beach, which Vero is kind of like a 15 minute, you know, area everywhere you go is around 15 minutes away. So if you come from a major city and yours is more like two hours, um, that's definitely a plus, but that's a major reason some of the locals are leaving. For instance, I had an open house and this property was right next to Devosta Homes. And you could tell who walking in was a local and who was walking in not from the area. So um, you could tell that, you know, I said it's 285,000. This is what you're getting, you know, right next to the Bosta. You're literally on the uh, on the other side of the Wabasso Causeway Bridge for 285,000. So the locals would come in. You could tell, oh, 285,000. I would never pay that for this. And, you know, I could get so much more but you have someone that's moving from Fort Lauderdale, which he actually ended up purchasing the home, spent 280,000, got in the home and said, you know, you can't find this anywhere down South. And he was trying to beat that hustle and bustle. That's just something to consider. You know, the locals are leaving because they're used to that lower um, price point home in a great location and kind of take it for granted a little bit. I mean, I was, I used to be like that until I moved back into Florida and I was like, wow, I could be this close to the beach and you know when i was living in texas it was three four hours to get to the closest beach so another reason locals are leaving is going to be the rising insurance cost and this isn't just homeowners insurance this is car insurance as well i'm definitely feeling the effects of that from transferring from texas to florida and realizing you know the car insurance is way more expensive here so not only do you have weather you also have um, the tourists and the elderly drivers, as well as if you're a younger driver that may have a speeding ticket or two. Guilty. Guilty. Um, it definitely gets you in a higher premium. So in Florida, you're looking at around 1200 to 3100 which you compare that to somewhere like Texas, where it was low premium was 500 some some odd dollars to around 2100 So 500 to 21 that's a major difference. But... Uh, you kind of mix those two together and you have a higher insurance premium. So um, you could kind of tell, especially with the tourism side and the elderly, um, you know, no disrespect to the elderly. We're all going to be there at some point, but 
Um, I've noticed a couple times when, you know, maybe they're walking out of a restaurant using their cane walker. And again, we're all going to be there at some point, completely understand, but they're, they're struggling to move and then they're operating a vehicle. Again, my great grandma drove till she was around 90 something. So um, it just gets a little bit more dangerous and uh, car insurance is definitely accounting for that. So um, not only do you have car insurance, you also have homeowners insurance. So uh, homeowners insurance is kind of tough in Florida, especially with some of the new laws that they're passing. You have flood insurance is going to be required for the whole state of Florida, even if you're not in a flood zone, which again, I see both sides. Florida's uh, below sea level. So technically the whole state's a flood zone. Another thing to note with the insurance is you're definitely going to pay a higher premium on that uh, on that homeowners insurance. The average in Florida is around $6,000 and that's four times the national average being $1,400, not $14,000. $1,400 is the U.S. average. So you compare those two things and you could definitely see that there's a uh, insurance. Insurance is definitely higher, which is you know causing some of the locals to leave. Another major reason locals are leaving is uh, the brutal weather. So this is the hottest on season from January to July, and it actually tied the warmest month July did and it was 129 degrees for the heat index. And that was, I think the last time, you know, it was that hot was uh, June, 1998. So, you know, you mix that with the humidity and it's just, it's brutal here if you're living here full time. If you're a snowbird that occasionally travels down and then you get out of here for the summer months, um, that's like a completely different story that definitely makes it more enjoyable. But a lot of the locals live here obviously full time and you know that heat definitely takes a toll so just kind of get used to that and take that into consideration if you're moving here with kids um you know go to the splash pads go to the beach but even the beach uh, the sand gets brutal um, the pavement's super hot so just kind of keep that in mind um, it's probably better off you find some more indoor activities until it kind of cools off but um, if you have children, you know, go to the splash pad, try to find a home with a pool. That's just something to consider. Get in the lagoon, take them to the ELC, uh, go to the beach, the Sebastian Inlet. And if you're a boater, you know, take them to the sandbar and enjoy some fun. But, um, you know, especially with children, it gets hot, especially if you're cooped up all the time. Um, with me, I started running and, you know, if you're not out there early in the morning, then it's going to be brutal. You're gonna to have to wait till seven, eight o'clock when the sun starts to come down. And even then you could still kind of feel that sticky feeling if it's not downpouring at that point. So uh, that's another reason why a lot of the locals are moving. Um, it's just the heat's brutal and the summers are rough. So just prepare yourself if you're looking to move to Florida. Another reason locals are leaving, um, well, I should say the younger locals are leaving is the job opportunities. And the national average is around 56,000 um, in Vero Beach. It's around 46, so about a $10,000 difference. But if you're moving here and you're maybe a remote worker or retiring, that's a completely different story. So a lot of the job opportunities in Vero Beach, you know, come from the school districts, the hospitals, uh, Walmart, Publix, Piper um, is the major one. So a lot of the jobs, the, the more the service industry, so all the restaurants and um, you know, bars and shops and boutiques, uh, more of those touristy kind of things as well as uh, the hospitals and school districts. That's where a lot of jobs come from. So that's just something to know. But if you're moving here for remote work, then this is kind of the perfect location. You're close to Orlando, close to West Palm, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, uh, about three hours away from Tampa. You can get to all those locations relatively quick and still have that small town feel with a lower budget. So. Um, you know, if you're moving here from maybe the Northeast or California and you have a higher paying job that's, you know, willing to pay you that price, you want to purchase a more affordable home, maybe something in the Vero Isles, that 1.7, um, or just maybe in Inland Vero and spend around 400000 and get you a pool home, that would be an ideal location. So just kind of take that into consideration. If you're moving here with a job, completely different story. So another reason a lot of the locals are leaving, um, you know, it kind of latches on to that whole weather aspect, but it's hurricane season. Hurricane season, I have a feeling, is going to be a little bit more brutal, just being that it's been ridiculously hot and it's already stormed around 90 days out of the 365, which we're only halfway through the year at this point, a little bit more than half, but you know what I mean. 
um, hurricane season is going to be pretty brutal you know you have el nino which they've been talking about already and you have you could check on like the previous four or five videos it's just been downpouring almost in every one so it's like clockwork it comes four or five o'clock and it's just pouring so um, you know you kind of get cooped up in the house and then when you walk outside uh, all that heat from the from the water rising off the ground makes it even more humid and you can just feel it when that sun's cooking you so um, you know it's you, that's just a part of living in Florida you know some people are looking to escape the uh, the weather up in up in the north so you know you have the snow weather you get the four seasons you come down here and you have uh, summer and brutal summer it's kind of those two those two aspects which a lot of people moving down here are looking for just that you know warm weather sunny beaches but it's not always like that and you just kind of you just got to know when moving down here obviously you take the good with the bad another reason um, a lot of locals are leaving Vero Beach is going to be the shopping here the shopping here is nowhere near um, like some of the major cities in the outskirts which again that's all personal preference if you don't mind driving a couple hours each way to go shopping that's completely okay but you know the mall is a, a, a pretty bad um, they have like I've mentioned in a couple other videos you have Melbourne Orlando West Palm Miami Fort Lauderdale uh, Miami is like probably two hours and 30 minutes away from here but if you don't mind driving to go shopping then that's perfect but the mall there's like four stores in there a candle store um, you know maybe a champs a Dillard's a JC Penny no Coles um, a church a Brazilian jiu-jitsu place and there's like two spots left in the food court that's pretty much it for the Indian River Mall and the outlet mall right off of 95 is not any better um, it was pretty good maybe five ten years ago when uh, you know before COVID hit but other than that it's um, it's gone down as well I believe the Nike left some of those big box stores uh, sunglass hut I think left there's a, just a couple stores now um, kind of scattered throughout the outlet mall and it's definitely smaller just make the drive up to Orlando and enjoy that one but that's gonna be another reason for um, you know, a majority of the younger generation other than that um, if you don't mind shopping on Amazon and ordering online like the majority of people do nowadays it's not that bad everything's delivered to your doorstep you're good to go you don't have to worry about shopping and you could still enjoy that small town charm here another reason locals are leaving and this could deter a lot of you is going to be the bugs so the bugs here um, you know you have mosquitoes spiders snakes all that stuff but a lot of them such as you know seams which you know if you're not really from florida you don't really understand but they're about a uh, point you can no seams is the name so they're 0 0.04 inches and you can't see them they'll bite you they'll leave welts they're in the grass flying around um, my wife gets attacked by them they don't really attack me too much but they'll leave welts and they'll definitely irritate the shit out of you so um, other than that you have love bugs which uh, if you've driven on 95 during love bug season you will notice them splattered across your uh, bumper windshield your car will be painted black and it'll look like you went face first into like a mud hole and it's just brutal they're horrible to get off um you know car washing is taken off around here just because of love bug season so that's another thing to consider of course you have your spiders and your other insects and you know it wouldn't be florida if i didn't mention like an alligator but as long as you stay away from them and don't walk up and try to feed them or any of that nonsense you'll be good to go but definitely note the bugs and um, the spiders we get some crazy looking wolf spiders um, pretty pretty big and my wife will scream bloody murder and you know we've had to kick a couple out the house so other than that just kind of know you're getting some bugs in the state of Florida now the last one I'll briefly touch on and I know a lot of people don't like to talk about it but we live in America for a reason so that we can have our freedom of speech and express our views so you're moving to Florida and as you know there's you know Florida man Florida this Florida that um, so definitely they have a strong opinion on stuff not um, not saying everyone's forcing politics down your throat but um, you'll definitely be walking around and you'll get into a conversation here or there so um, I've been in this scenario where you know I moved here and in Texas 
it was a little bit different of course it's like you're moving from a red state to another red state so it's not a huge difference but i feel like when i moved here they'll uh they'll definitely engage in politics which i'm not saying that's a bad thing i joined the military for the same reason you know freedom america all that good stuff so just know when you're moving down here you're gonna get a little bit more of that political talk which is always good as long as um, you know it's cordial but just know that if you're moving here from maybe a different color state they'll say like oh well don't don't california or florida and don't do this that that you know that'll be a saying you'll hear every uh, every once in a while so um, you know not saying i'm on either side you know i don't want to express my political views and something like this but just know that on July 1st, everyone was able to conceal carry as long as you're 21 and you're legally able to. So you don't have to have a permit anymore, which a lot of people were stoked about. Um, you know, just being prior military, you know, you carry a gun anyways. So that's just kind of something uh, to know when you're moving to Florida, which I know a lot of people may be fleeing New York. I have a couple of buddies that left New York and that's you know something they're excited for. They're ready to, you know, embrace that kind of Florida culture um, even though I did get made fun of a lot be it Florida man this and they'd send me the links and stuff but that just comes with the territory when you're from here but those are a lot of reasons locals are leaving I'm not saying that would deter you but if it did you know just drop a comment what part you didn't like about the video you know I don't see myself living in Florida because of those love bugs um, but if you did like anything and you're looking to relocate please feel free to reach out again my information will roll on the screen It'll be in the comments below, days, nights, weekends, text, call, email, and me and my team will reach back out to you. But you have all that stuff mixed together. You know, the home prices is, is especially a big one for, uh, you know, the city of Vero Beach. So that's just, that's one thing you have to know if you're moving here, you'll see it as a good deal. And some locals will be like, I remember when that was a, you know, $80,000, uh, you'll, you'll hear that a lot too. So. It just depends where you're moving from. Um, it'll definitely be a steal if you come from, you know, the Californias and the New Yorks. Uh, maybe not so much the Midwest area because you get a lot of land. But if you're looking for land, um, try something like Bellsmere where you could get five acres and it'll be free and clear and you'll be good to go. But if none of that deterred you, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And if you're looking to relocate, again, reach out and we will be in touch. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Alex Archiega, a real estate agent here along the Treasure Coast. I'll see you guys next time.